Now the metallic hydrates are three types. One is ionic hydrate, salt-like, covalent hydrate, or molecular hydrate. And next one is stoichiometric hydrate. This is nothing but a non-stoichiometric hydrate or metallic hydrate. Metallic hydrate. So completed ionic and covalent hydrates. Means ionic hydrates are prepared from S black elements because these are your electro positive metals. Covalent hydrates are prepared from P black elements. Okay. Now in that three types, one is electron deficient hydrate, electron excess hydrate, and electron precision hydrate. And third one is metallic hydrate. or non-stoichiometric hydrate hydrate means here hydrates are produced from D and F black elements so D and F black elements are participated for the formation of metallic hydrate or non-stoichiometric hydrate. The metallic hydrate or non-stoichiometric hydrate examples are lanthanum hydrate, yttribium hydrate, or titanium hydrate, or scandium hydrate, etc. Means D and F black elements are involving in the participation of metallic hydrates. Here metallic bond is present between the met metal and hydrogen these are your high these are shows high conductivity property and thermally stable and no toxic property and hydrogen is a source the source of hydrogen gas is takes place here in solar system also the required energy in the form of hydrogen there is an important character of hydrogen gas So this is your hydrates. So hydrates are three types. Ionic, covalent, non-stoichiometric hydrate. So first one is S black, which is prepared from S black elements, P black elements, D and F black elements. After this, we discuss another component that is water. <coughs> water. <laughs> Water is an important constant particle in atmosphere. The human life is survival or plant survival. The living organisms like humans means human being and plants are survival with help of water. So the water is an important source. This water in human body is up to 65% is exists. Whereas in plant maximum it is up to 95%. This water is prepared from hydrogen. So hydrogen is reacted with oxygen through electrolysis process. It liberates a water molecule. Now, this structure of water. structure of water the water is shows v shape or angular shape its shape is angular shape or v shape its bond angle is 104 degrees 5 minutes it undergoes sp3 hybridization it undergoes sp3 hybridization the structure of water is this is a structure it containing it contains two lone pairs of electron two lone pairs it contains two lone pairs this is a structure its angle is 104 degrees 5 minutes it containing two lone pairs R it is again represented like this okay so this one this is a structure of 
water molecule so generally the water molecule boiling point is more than remaining hydrates for example h2o is there h2o is having more boiling point compared to hydrogen sulfide means h2s yes. because generally the water molecule is exhibit hydrogen bonding it forms hydrogen bond it involves in hydrogen bonding formation so due to the formation of hydrogen bonding it having more melting point and boiling point so that is the reason the water is containing more melting point and boiling point now this h2o is having why h2o why water molecule having more boiling point than hydrogen sulfide because in water molecule oxygen is a more electronegative atom this more electronegative atom is interact with hydrogen through attraction forms hydrogen bonding but whereas in hydrogen sulfur this electronegative nature is decreases so there is no hydrogen bonding formation is takes place next one is structure of ice in three dimensional structure this ice is represented under the x rays it is appears as the oxygen atom is surrounded by a four oxygen atom in a tetrahedral shape means the ice in a three dimensional structure under the x rays by passing of x rays the each oxygen atom is surrounded by a four oxygen atoms it appears as tetrahedral shape okay so this is our water component this is a most important component for a human being that is a water this water molecular formula is h2o it containing total 18 its molecular weight is or weight is 18 grams it molecular weight is 18 grams and water the water containing lone pair it involving a various properties it act as a oxide it involves in it act as amphoteric oxide means it is react with acid as well as base so means it is an example for amphoteric oxide